everybody, it's a friendly foe, so I look like crap in general. Um, maybe it's because I don't have contacts on, so it makes me look weird, or maybe it's just because, you know, we missed school today, and I didn't care about my hair until I went to the library. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we were back playing Getting Over With Benefati Part 2. Now, most of you saw my live stream where I was editing Getting Over With Benefati. But in that live stream, as you guys saw, when I was editing it, most of you saw that I didn't really get any like progress. I just went up and down, up and down. And the video that I made also had Zach in it, which kind of made me like not even try my best. So I'm gonna redo it. Um, since I didn't even make any progress, I'm gonna when I start up the game, it's just gonna be right where I left it last time. So if that makes sense, I'm doing a part two again. Anyway, play. It's popping up in Steam. Oh, my arm is itchy. Windows G. Turn up the volume. Get the mic adjusted. Record. Bam. Okay, so I'm going to bring it. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust this. Okay. Yeah, continue. Yeah, see, I set off here because I didn't even make any progress. It sucks. So, I'll get back. Uh, um, when I snap my fingers, we'll instantly jump to where I left off last time, which was on that cliff. So, snap. And like that, guys, we are back. We're at the top of this mountain here that we left off in the very first episode. So, now the next objective is to get up this. Can I see another's woe and not be in sorrow too? Can I see another's grief? and not seek for kind relief. William Blake. I don't know what to think of that situation. I mean, it's not making me mad because like I've already done this so many times that right now this like part is just a piece of cake, you know? So like once again, I'm just gonna get back up here, but that mountain, if that keeps on happening, that's when I'm gonna get mad, you know? Like see? In the end, we only like, regret it's the easy to get back up because, like, once you like, you Carol. know what to grab once you've done it so many times and you know where to grab. The, the only situation is just when it's not grabbing or when it's not doing you doing what you want it to do, you know. Like right here, this part kind of makes me mad. Like not in a big way because like you have to grab onto a certain stone, and if you don't, then you're gonna fall down like that. Like, don't grab onto this pink rose one. Just so you're gonna try to get up there. And it's gonna push you away. And then, right here, I really need to get onto this tunnel. But it's not going to let me. I've, like, I don't need to get up onto this edge right here. I need to get onto that barrel. You know? So, like, I've to kind of push myself back and grab onto this very tippy tip tip. Right there, and it's kind of, oh. There we go, I'll swing myself up. Swing myself up. Sorry for the wind outside. Um, we're actually in the middle of a blizzard right now. Not even kidding. It's April in the middle of a blizzard. Bam, like that, we're back again. If I fall over that orange mountain, whatever you want to call it right there, Again, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, so right here, I feel like I need to launch myself. Yep. Okay, there we go. We're getting some progress. Okay, I need to launch myself again. There we go. Oh. Okay, so this is probably gonna be trippy or hard or whatever you want to say. Because I need to get over here, but it's not going to let me, is it? Nope. So I need to, like, do something like this. No! Okay, and just... Like that, relax. Throw yourself up. I 
no, it's not working. <gasps> it's not working. Okay. I'm here thinking about the Broadway a lot that we just saw yesterday. You know, trying to calm my nerves. back. And again, we're back again. Because, again and again, I guess, because when we started at the, game, I was at the bottom, and I teleported you guys up here, so that's the first time. Then I fell down, teleported you guys up here the second time, and then I fell down and teleported you guys up here the third time. So this is the third time. I'm going to be extra, extra careful. Oh, that was a great swing. Okay, you shoot me down so you can get your body through. Okay, shoot me down, shoot me down. Perfect. Oh, right there. No. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm gonna sign there. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Sorry guys, I need to start talking again. This is a YouTube channel for Christ's sake. Okay, so I need to grab onto that light, but I don't know how. Okay. Yes! Oh, baby. Launch. Okay. Like a launch pad, which is something I want. Like, literally, my Christmas list is like a launch pad, launch pad, because I know how to use one, I just don't have one. No! No, baby, no! Okay, this time I'm gonna bring you guys along, because I think I've gotten good at this part. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that was easy. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh my god. Bring your hammer back. Launch yourself up here. Remember what I said in my first episode where I say only idiots will fall down? <laughs> Guys, like, there's not even a possible way for me to get bounce back down right now. Because, like, there's a ledge here and there's another ledge down here. So unless I'm, like, incredibly stupid, I can, there's no way I can get down to the bottom. No! Teleportation. And with the power that I hold of editing, we are back. Okay, so we're right here again. Now we just need to launch ourselves up, grab onto the light, grab onto the other light, not that light, but the light back there, not that yellow rock. If you grab on, if you, if you fall off this. I am speechless about what has just happened. I fell onto that yellow rock. I hit that top rock right there. And but I didn't hard enough hit it hard enough for me to go flying. And I am just so thankful right now. Like that right there. That was a close call again. And like how this is a close call if I go flying down there. Bam, bam, Bambi is in the house. Oh, oh. 
My hands are sweaty. I just realized something that like this, this like table has like a puddle of sweat on it now. <gasps> Next expectation fails. And Mark no. And we're most promises. And often, often it hits where whoever holds it. And then this teleportation. Oh, we're back. Sorry, I went ahead without you guys. Sorry, I got up here and I just kept on was like, oh yeah. Okay, but then it hit me. I was like, I reached the red pole and I was like, wait, I'm supposed to be talking. So we're back here again, trying to get up that red pole. If you guys have any techniques or ideas for me, leave them down below, please. I need everybody's help right now. Especially your guys's, please. Try, I'm taking all my speaking into concentration. Well, I don't really need concentration, but just lots and lots of patience. Come on. You're not even hitting the rock. See, you're not. Okay. Launch pad. Oh, no. The stone, the stone of fruit must, must break, break that its heart, heart may stand, stand in the sun. The sun. So, so must you know pain. And could, and could you keep you your heart in wonder at the, at the daily, daily miracles, miracles of your life, life your pain would not, not seem less, less wondrous than your joy. Khalil Gibran. I don't know. Teleportation. Actually, teleportation when I pass the red thing. Okay, teleportation when I pass the red thing. Guys, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> no! Back again when we get to the top. For years now, people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of bought in a store and assembled into a world. And for the most part, that hasn't happened, because the objects in the stores are trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made, although a lot of them are. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink. Things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context, and once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Okay, I know you guys can't see it, but it tells me how... Over time, we've poured more and more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium, the lingua franca of the digital age. You can build culture out of trash, but only trash culture. Be games, be movies, be music, be philosophy. Okay, guys, I know you can't see it. I went to go look at the camera to find out the camera has not been recording. So, I'm going to upload this without a face cam. So, anyway, basically, we've made it this far. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye.